this question is about quadratics now the first one is simple algebra so let's do this first so we have to show that when we multiply these two expressions uh, the right hand side is what we get so we can write for p plus q p squared minus pq plus q squared equals to if you multiply p with p squared it is p cubed minus p with p q is p squared q plus q into p squared is p squared q in alphabetical order minus q into p q is minus p q squared in alphabetical order and uh, then we have plus q with q squared is q cubed I think I forgot to multiply p with q squared it should be p q squared let me write it down here p q squared so this multiplied by this is this one then this multiplied this is the second one then this multiplied this is this one which I missed initially then this multiplied this is this one then this one okay this is fine now p squared q and p squared q this two cancels off p q squared and p q squared this two cancels off so we have p cubed plus q cubed so we will need this later on in question number b this is uh, this information is given uh, this is a quadratic equation so what they're saying over here is basically if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 as a quadratic equation and we have two roots of the equation x1 equals to alpha and x2 equals to beta so we have two roots of this equation and this information is given uh, for finding the algebraic uh, values of these so if we use this we can write alpha plus beta is minus b by a and alpha into beta is c by a so this information over here is mainly given for algebraic purpose so what we can do over here is we can write for alpha plus beta equals to so alpha plus beta is minus b by a so this is going to be minus 4 by 2 minus 4 by 2 which is minus 2 and alpha into beta is c by a which is 5 by 2 so we know these values using this equation that has been given now what we want to do with b1 we have to write b1 over here what we want to do with b1 is find the value of alpha cubed and beta cubed so alpha cubed plus beta cubed now we did this this portion first of all 8a where instead of p cubed plus q cubed we can write this instead of alpha cubed plus beta cubed we can write alpha plus beta which is p plus q alpha squared minus alpha beta plus beta squared now alpha plus beta is minus 2 we already found this using algebra and alpha squared plus beta squared now if you write it like this alpha squared minus beta squared minus now alpha beta is 5 by 2 let me write this is 5 by 2 but alpha squared plus beta squared again we have to use algebra we can write this uh, we know a plus b whole squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared now if we send this 2ab to the other side it becomes a plus b whole squared minus 2ab equals to a squared plus b squared so that's what we're going to write so we can write so instead of alpha squared plus beta squared we can write alpha plus beta whole squared minus 2 alpha beta so that's the algebraic identity we can use so we can write now so we know alpha plus beta is minus 2 so this would be minus 2 whole squared minus 2 and we know alpha beta is 5 by 2 5 by 2 and this is minus 5 by 2 from previous calculation so what we can do over here is we can write minus 2 and this is 4 minus 2 to cancel this is 5 minus 5 by 2 so this would be uh, 4 minus 5 is minus 1 minus 1 minus 5 by 2 5 by 2 means 2.5 so minus 1 minus 2.5 is minus 3.5 which is 7 by 2 
So this is ultimately the 2 and 2 cancels and the value would be 7. Now the next part is B2, so alpha cubed, beta cubed. So let me write it down here, B2, so alpha cubed times beta cubed. It can be written as alpha beta whole cubed, so alpha beta whole cubed by indices. And we can write uh, alpha beta is 5 by 2, so this would be 5 by 2 whole cubed, which would be 125 by 8. Now the next question is the main question where we have to uh, form the equation. So this is the question, form a quadratic equation. So the rule is, if you want to form a quadratic equation, you need to know, you need to know the roots. So this is how you form the quadratic equation. It is x squared minus sum of the roots, sum of the roots, x plus product of the roots equal to 0. So this is, this is how you find the quadratic equation when the roots are given. Now for the first question C1, the roots are 2 alpha cubed and 2 beta cubed. And remember you can always take the help of the previous sum. So number C1 turns out to be, so first of all sum of the roots. So 2 alpha cubed plus 2 beta cubed. So we want to find the sum first. If I take 2 common, it would be alpha cubed plus beta cubed. And in the previous sum, we found alpha cubed plus beta cubed is 7. So we can write 2 into 7 equals to 14. Now the product. So 2 alpha cubed times 2 beta cubed. This would be 4 alpha cubed beta cubed. Now by algebra we can see that we have already found this to be 125 by 8. This would be 125 by 8 and it cancels out and turns out to be 125 by 2. So we know both the sum and the product. Now we have to find the equation. So hence Remember, the equation is x squared minus sum of the roots, which is 14x plus product of the roots, which is 125 by 2 equals to 0. Now, one, is, one thing is important to remember, the coefficient has to be integer. They even mentioned this, the integer coefficient. So what we have to do, we can multiply both sides with 2 and we can write 2x squared minus 28x plus 125 equal to 0. In the next question, C2, the two roots that are given, 5 by x cubed and 5 by, uh, 5 by alpha cubed and 5 by beta cubed. So we have to form a quadratic equation, another quadratic equation where the roots are given. So, so number 2 over here would be sum is 5 by alpha cubed plus 5 by beta cubed. So if you take LCM as alpha cubed and beta cubed, then it would be alpha cubed and alpha cubed matches. It would be 5 beta cubed plus beta cubed and beta cubed matches 5 alpha cubed. So if you take the 5 common, it would be alpha cubed plus beta cubed divided by alpha cubed beta cubed. Now again the algebra is going to be handy. We had already found in the previous sum the value of alpha cubed plus beta cubed which is 7. So we can write this to be 7 and alpha cubed beta cubed is 125 by 8. So using the calculator it turns out to be 7 5 is 35 divided by 125 by 8. That means 56 by 25. 56 by 25. Now the product. So the product would be 5 alpha cubed, 5 beta cubed. It would be 25 alpha cubed, beta cubed. And uh, this turns out to be uh, 25 divided by, we already know the value of alpha cubed and beta cubed. We have done this previously. It is 125 by 8. Now you see why they have given us uh, 
initially this information that this quadratic equation which has nothing to do with the sum but it helps us to find uh, numeric values of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta that helps us to do the original sum which is form quadratic equation so anyway 125 by 8 so this would be 125 by 8 and it turns out to be 25 divided by 125 by 8 which is 8 by 5 so we have found both the sum and the product so hence let's write down a, uh, the equation that we have so it would be x squared minus so the sum would be 56 by 25 x plus the product would be 8 by 5 equal to 0 now we need integer coefficient so multiply both sides with 25 take the largest one in the uh, denominator it would be 25 x squared minus 56 x plus 25 into this 5 5 is a 25 and 5 8 is a 40 40 equal to 0 